Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 5, group functions, part 2. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to group data by using group by clause. If you want to know the average salary of employees, this is what we can do. Select average salary from employees. If I want to add another condition, for example, where department ID equal to 80, so this is I will get the average salary for department 80. But what if I want to know the average salary for each and every department inside the company? Then this is where we need to use a group by clause. Group by clause can divide the table of information into smaller groups. So this is the syntax for the group by clause. Select column group function, the column name, from table where condition group by, the group by expression and order by the column name. If you include a group function in a select clause, you cannot select individual result as well unless the individual column appears in the group by clause. What does it mean here? The column that is not in a group function inside the select clause must be inside the group by clause. Using a WHERE clause, you can exclude rows before dividing them into groups. You must include the column names in the group by clause, not the column aliases. If you see keyword like each, every and per, you might need to use the group by clause. We can use the group by clause on multiple columns to divide groups into smaller groups. Let's take a look on the implementation. Just now, when we want to find the average salary for department 50, this is the SQL that we will do. Select average salary from employees where department ID equals to 50. So if we execute this one, so this is the result for average salary for department 50. What if I want to change? I want to know inside department 90. Then what can I do? Then I will have uh, this one, this result. Then if I want department 80, then I change the SQL again, I need to execute. But what if I want to know for each and every department inside uh, um, uh, inside employees table? So what can we do actually? We can change this one to kind of group by what makes department unique? Department ID. Okay, so if we do this one, select average salary from employees group by department ID. So if we execute this one, we will get the average salary for each department. However, this value belongs to which department? This value belongs to which department? We don't know. So what can we do? Normally, we will select something that we want to group by. Okay, for example, select department ID, average salary from employees group by department ID. So if we execute this one, then we will know department 100, this is the average salary. Department 90, this is the average salary and so forth. What if we select department ID, average salary from employees? This one cannot be executed. Because why? If you select a group function with non-group function, if take a look, there is no group function um, operation on the department ID. If you select group function, the average salary, and non-group function, only the department ID, you need to have a group by clause. Group by clause. Group by why? Group by the something that is not uh, in the group function. So, something that is not in the group function here, department ID. So, group by department ID. Then, we will get the answer. So, please be careful if you want to select group function with non-group function, you need to have a group by clause. Group by what? Group by the, the column that is not in the group function. Besides average, we also can uh, use uh, count. For example, I want to count employee ID. Okay, to count employee ID, for example, select department ID, count employee ID from employees group by department. So what does it mean here? So we will know how many employees in each department. Okay, if you take a look, department 100, we have 6 employees. Department 20, we have 2 employees. Department uh, 50, we have 45 employees in it. Same goes, we can use maximum. What does it mean here? I want to find maximum salary for each department. 
So if I execute this one, department 100, the maximum salary is 12,008. Department 20, the maximum salary for the employees is 13,000. I can use sum also. So if you take a look, which department has the highest sum? So if you take a look here, so we can add order by, okay? So let's add order by. Order by 2. What does it mean order by 2? Order by the sum salary. I don't specify means ascending order. So means the lowest one, the sum of the salary is department 10, 4,400. The highest one, department 80, uh, the, uh, sorry, 304, 4K. Okay, so we can do, uh, we can add the select from, if you want to have where clause also, there's no problem. Where department ID in 50, 60 and 70 for example. So we want to see only these three departments. So inside department 50, the sum salary is 15,000. Inside department 60, 28,000. And sorry, this is 156,000. And inside department 70, 10,000. So, this is the uh, the clauses that we have laid up until now. Select from where? Group by, order by. In our uh, employees table, we will know that in, in each department, there are a lot of employees. Same goes, employees can have different kind of job ID. So if we want to find how many employees according to job ID in a department, we can do it this way. Select department ID, job ID, count employee ID from employees, group by department ID. So if you execute this one, we'll get an error message. Why? Because of, if you take a look, as I said, if we select group function with non-group function, take a look how many columns that uh, that, that is not having any group function, department ID and job ID. So what does it mean here? Then all non-group function must be inside the group by clause. So means group by department ID, job ID. If we execute, this is the result that we will get. So if you take a look, okay, let's uh, order by. Let's do the order by. Order by department ID and job ID also. So if we execute this one, Take a look at department 50. Inside department 50, total up, we have 45 employees. However, 20 are SH clerk, 20 are ST clerk, and 5 are ST men. So that's why the group by here, the group by here, we can also group by multiple columns. The first one, they group by the department. Inside department, we have multiple job ID. Then they will group by the, the job ID. Because if we remove the job ID here, Okay, let's remove the job ID first. We will know there are fifth. Uh, okay, so if you take a look here, there are forty-five employees inside uh, department uh, fifty. However, as I said, if we uh, group also the job ID, then we will know twenty are SH clerk, twenty are ST clerk, and another five is the ST. Man. So, means inside the group by clause, there can be multiple column also. Remember, it has to be column name inside group by clause. It cannot be column alias. So, now let's take a look at this example. This is all the clauses that we have learned up until now. Select from where? Group by, order by. So, now we add a condition. I want to group uh, the employees according to the department and job ID. However, the department ID must be in, in 50, department 50, department 80 or department 90 only. So if we execute this one, we will get this answer. So inside department uh, 90, there are two different job ID. Inside department 80, there are two different job ID. And inside department 50, there are uh, three different job ID. And these are the count uh, of employees. Uh, for each job in this department. I hope you get it. So I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next part. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.